You want to lead us off, Cyril? Brother Cyril? You already know. You already know, you know it's the anti-social podcast. No one's podcast. holding a mic but you. Of course. <laughs> we. <laughs> That's because I'm the host of this podcast today. That's not even true. We are I'm here the today. Host. We I edited like... everything. I came up with the name. These are my friends. <laughs> <laughs> today I'm hosting today's podcast. We have three special guests here. Mike. Hello. Mm-hmm. I'm going to sue you. I swear to God, I'm going to sue you. <laughs> No, that's that's actually probably what would end up happening. You can take over. This nigga know how to talk to people. I don't. So he'll eventually be the host. <laughs> I know it's so this podcast and welcome today to this anti social your boy K Lou in the building in the cut like he is sporing. <sighs> that's actually not a bad line. Does she like think that you're not gonna like you're gonna edit out what happened? Nah, in the first no, part? no, I can just keep it in there. I just edit I just <laughs> edit all the oh, clips to make, make you look the best. Yeah, our get uh, our guest. Literally introduced me. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, Mike got an introduction. I got yeah. shit. Hello. Mm-hmm. Do you want to go by y'all's real names or? Uh, no. Let's go up to the names. You know, aka Pesty Desperado, aka you know the Stonely Lone, aka Michael Moody, aka the, the Young Kill. Hold up. Hold up. I'm not Mike's. I'm not Mike's third grade. George Bush. I'm not Mike's third grade. We ain't never caught him doing that. Well, <laughs> well, I'm no Mike's in the screen. We call them all. <laughs> well, he's getting a lot, lot of worse. <laughs> a lot of worse. A lot of worse. A worse. So let's, uh, a lot of let's, let's stop the bullshit. Let's uh, let's let's, let's jump in our first topic. Um, the, it, it it is. We didn't even introduce. Everybody, I've been here before. Because oh, you didn't introduce him. I've been here before. Yeah, that's not true. Before you, anyway. Uh, well, I was like my third guest. Mm-hmm. We gotta have our introduction. All right, we have cool. to introduce each other. Okay, you, you ever met Charles? No! Oh, this is Blanco. I ain't doing it. Just <laughs> no, <sir. laughs> well, I just got a new name. <laughs> and it's excellent, too, by the See, way. Charlie Blanco? Yeah, Charles. No one told me. It's Charles White. That's and you just called him Charlie Blanco. Charlie Blanco. Does that not sound that like a good ass drug dealer? Awesome. Name? Yeah. Something I would never do. That is yeah. incredible. Drug dealer. I mean, that's, that's a rapper Drugs are never bad. will do or never have done. That's a rapper name right there. Jugs are bad, never you know, kids. Uh, first topic. Just so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, uh, over the, I mean, obviously, Happy New Year. Um, happy New Year. Um, happy New Year. Happy New Decade. Yeah, Happy New Oh, shit. Um, Actually, it's not the new decade. The new decade, there was no year zero. Uh, so the new decade doesn't start until 2021. But that's neither here nor there. Hey. Anyway, so Drake, uh, <laughs> Drake dropped a, a, a rap rate on rap rate on podcast. He um, he actually talked about. Uh, you know what? I, I want to start off by saying this. Uh, before we go into Drake, I want to say Drake is a very humble person. For what who he is, he should be a lot less humble. Like you watched the whole interview. I watched the whole interview. Wow. He uh, it was a struggle. I'm I not a fan of Drake. Seconds. I'm not a fan of Drake. I, I, mean, uh, I haven't watched it. I might have but, to watch it. But I will say that Drake is a very humble awesome. person for to be the hottest rapper for the last ten Decade. years. Uh, <laughs> and straight at oh, that. That pains. That pains. Right, it, it does. It, uh, but you have to admit it. Like you, like you were the hottest. Ten nigga. years straight. Oh. Yeah, ten years oh, straight. Oh, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> ten years straight, he was the, the hottest rapper. <laughs> So, so, uh, I mean, the straight for him is, you know, we, we don't know. You know, he's a neo soul artist. Yeah. So. Uh, so, for him to be, he's, he's, he is real humble on the pod, on, on, the, on the interview. He was a real yeah, humble person. Was, I see Drake, I can see why he's so likable. He's a very likable person. But that being said, the nigga's lying. He's a liar. Drake was lying. He's a liar. Not, not even just lying, like, mm. wasn't telling the truth. He he's was trying, trying to make something. The narrative. Exactly. He's so, trying to control so, that narrative. So, basically, Crazy. what happened? Drake uh, was talking about the push of TV. Uh, yeah, I have I no see. idea. I did <laughs> For people that don't know what's going on, I have no idea. I don't so, pay attention to what Drake. they call he, nasty. Amongst, what happened? Amongst, what happened? A, amongst a bunch of different topics, he talked. Uh, he did talk about the. Uh, yeah. the he talked about the beef with uh, Meek Mill and Chris Brown. But what I want to talk about is him lying on the push T beef. Lying. Li- what did he? What did he lie? Well, about? first of all, he he made it seem as if though uh, Pusha T went too far. <laughs> but and I think everybody in this room will agree Pusha T went too far. But that is the point of I don't the, agree. Uh, okay, oh, no. well that is the point of a battle is to <laughs> go too think far. You went far enough. It is to go too far. You're supposed to Exactly. And then for him to be like You're supposed you, to diss him. He diss tried him. to make it seem like, oh you said the you said the uh, you told the world that the, the most famous rapper had a uh, had a child. Yeah, that's that was actually a pretty good move. Like no one knew you had a child. Hell of a chess move. And he made he embarrassed you. Like uh, for me, I feel like, and Mike might be able to agree with me on this one, I feel like Drake was trying to downplay Pusha T's win. 
It's like basically you got dumped on, but like, but nigga, I wasn't looking. He, he, so he, like, he still got dumped like on. Robin Lopez, uh, yeah, exactly. Down, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, 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 and but really, like, I let it happen or something. Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. No, I you didn't. To, no, <laughs> you didn't let it happen. That's crazy. He took an L. He had to take that L, though. That's what that's what, it happens. Yeah, come on. He had to take an L. Everybody he, 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 he beat me. Yeah, yeah, everybody. Everybody. And, I, and, and to be honest, I came out of that a Meek fan. Me too. Really? I came out of the Drake beat because before that, I used to say Meek rap like he was ordering uh, from the from the passenger seat in the drive thru. Mm-hmm. It's not like he was screaming. That's what I used to say. Yeah. I did like intro though. Wow. Yeah, everybody but likes intro. After the beef doesn't. though, more, more you like don't. You ain't got a soul. Yeah. After, after it's, the, it's, but after the beef, beef, you hear intro. After the like, beef, I started listening more. I, I started listening to more of his shit. I was like, damn, this shit actually go hard. Like I wouldn't even. Like I started to actually listen. I'm like, damn, this shit is actually pretty. It's, it's you know, he's like he almost so, really yells like on his singles. That's, that's, what I'm that's, that's, that's all R and B or R and B shit. That's all I knew though. I didn't. I never like typed in Meek Mill. I never. He used to hit that, uh, it's not a yell, it's the cry. The Philly cry. It's not the yell, like, he hit the cry on every song. Man, that nigga, not now. Hey, like, he used to be The past few years, but like, hey, can I get a number three? What it was? But, 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 Everywhere. Where? Like, just walk Where? outside. Where? Right there. Somewhere. Where? Right up right now. I tried to go to Jack in the Box one right time. I, was like, I don't even know where it's at. Uh, not 45. Man. I don't even know where it's to Jack right in the Box is. Yeah, not living hard enough. Exactly. Bro. I was like, bro, there's one right here. And Jack I can't speak to this. Don't tell me. I feel me. like there's no. limited Jack in the Boxes around here, no. bro. No. Uh, I can literally head in any direction from my house. And hit a Jack in the Box in like five minutes. Yeah, Jack. Y'all act like Jack in the Box is McDonald's. That's a Jack in the Box right on. In here, around here, it kind of is. Y'all see, Burlington to come bro, out three. Before yeah. you get home, you're going to see 12 McDonald's. It's you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But you're going to see one Jack in the Box if you take the back way, the No, I'm literally going to see I'm five Jack in the Box on the way I'm to gonna my house. I'm going to see three. I'm going well, to see two at least. McDonald's? Jack in the Box. Uh, what? Yeah. Where y'all live? I live, uh... Don't tell I'm about to, I'm about to dox myself. I, <laughs> I live with pretty They know. They know what the hell is it. I don't know where no Jack in the Box is over there. On Imperial Valley, oh, bro. 1960 Imperial Valley is right there. Do you not fuck with the Jack in the Box? I guess not, because I don't know where they at. Yeah, you probably just be ignoring them. I don't see them. You don't want them, so you don't see them. I call them Jack in the Crack anyways. Yeah, it's like Wally World. Everybody calls Jack, you coming out the crack. Yeah, Jack in the Box will fuck your stomach up. That shit will sit down. You know they shit falls down and love it? Yeah. Speaking of, you know that dude who dunked on Brooke Lopez went to tech? I did not know that. Yeah. Who was it? Yeah, uh, J- Jared Culver. Oh. Nah, it was Ja. It was J. Ja. It was the Timberwolves. It was Jared Culver. Nah, it was How you just go change? It was the Nuggets. Nah, it was the Timberwolves. I mean, I we had the internet. Yeah. Wait, which yeah. job are you talking? It wasn't about? job. Ray right? played, played for Memphis. Memphis. Exactly. I mean Memphis. I just right. let I let that go. Memphis, my bad. Nah, it was a uh, Jared Culver for the Timberwolves. Damn it. Look it up, bro. It's no, not you say Just you look it up. You say you a hooper. So look you have up. to be right. Mike has to be wrong. Because Ja would have fell on the ground during that shit. Ja don't have it might have been, man, because he doesn't. He has no but he puts up some nasty ass ducks, though. But he, he always so was it him? Let me go look. He always come down. Hey, why are you looking at that? I want this, to, to finish off with my feelings on yeah, that. Jack nigga fucking lying. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely. I don't. I, you know, I don't listen to him. It's hard to listen to him. No, he said he doesn't listen. Bro, to he, he had, on the podcast he said he was like, "But well, you used to be a fan." He was like, "Yeah, that was before I found out you was faking. I've been lying about all your, your raps." That 
All that, rappers lie. First of all, Hill. first of all, Drake Hill. does not get to accuse anyone. Yeah. Of that's what I'm saying. Lying. Drake doesn't I'm even sure. write his own rhyme. Well, that's, well, that's not true. No, he downplayed. What is that? That's, what do you mean it's not true? He downplayed that. Quentin Miller wrote. He downplayed the shit out of he that. He downplayed that crazy. He did not write Rico he, on Dreams Worth More Than Money. That's sick. That the the feature thing. Come on, bro. He got somebody to write a feature. He for stole Tay Forte's whole verse. That's what. I see. I don't. I don't care about that. What are you that. talking about? Yeah, the Rico verse is was like okay. Yeah, that was extra. Like if you're making a project and somebody's writing it with you, okay, whatever. He does that shit all the time. Yeah, whatever. whatever. Okay, do your thing. Most of I, I don't. That's, 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 Drake that's a, that's Drake a no, no. That's a no no in hip hop. But okay, whatever. But the fact that you did a feature, mm -hmm. so meaning Meek spit his bars mm -hmm. and then he rapped against somebody who wasn't you. Mm -hmm. That was like. Yeah, it means you that's, heard me spars and like I got nothing for that. That's what it seems like, even if that's not the case. Yeah, even if it's that, not the case, that's, that's how it's more, 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 even more fucked up. It sounds like why don't I need to write some shit for me? Exactly. That's worst case. Exactly. exactly. But that's what Drake does. Bro, he, that, Drake taking the money. That, for Drake that's what kind of like I was like, bro, that's the part. Drake, 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 Drake don't fuck with you until you're hot. <laughs> that's facts. And then, then Drake don't want to Drake did not want to go to the Tony Montana. Was it Tony Montana? He was not fucking with Future. He was not. The Future became the hottest rapper in the game. And now we're going to be saying together. And then, uh, now you can't be seen without it. Nigga. And then he, then he caught feelings when Future only spoke the truth. We would like to elaborate. Yeah, when he said, I mean, he made he hits, but I make I made music that touched people's soul. Well, it wasn't wrong. He's not. And but I think Hell, I, I think the whole the narrative that Drake don't true. write any of his shit. I don't think that's I don't think that's true. Like, no, it's not that he Drake don't write any of it. Drake writes music. I mean, he writes the of people. Of course, he so, writes yeah. music. But he's not writing his own but that, music. But that, no, that's he what, don't write his own music. But, I don't no, think that's, that's what that's that true. makes. I mean, he writes. He has to write at least a good majority. That makes it kind of a good majority. But how do we know which hits he wrote? He didn't exactly. Write. exactly. Yeah. And that's that's what makes Meek Mill wrote every single for song he wrote yeah. his shit. for better or worse. That's yeah. That's it what, don't matter. That's it what makes it, that's what makes it fucked up. For he, me might, he, like, he might not have came out with the hook. I was a scared. Drake. I was a Drake fan. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, we've all we've all, all my Drake fans. Exactly. When that happened, 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 I'm still, I went down 19. I'm talking about two of my light skin niggas have never been Drake fans. That's crazy. Never been a Drake. But see, I'm not. I'm not saying I don't even. I still listen to his shit. I watch the Grassy. But it's kind of like. Well, honestly, I was a Degrassi fan first. After the album of which was written with Quentin Miller, Emma, I want you. What? Can you have nobody to bite for a while? So who dumped him? I mean, it was hot. Drop a little bit. Yeah, he was right. Move on. He also wants to be So, so tomorrow you gotta do. You gotta do 15 suicides. You gotta hit three, three left hand free throws in a row before you can leave the gym. Bro, that nigga ran. But that shit was funny, though. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what? What you say? Wait, are you screaming you at someone? Oh, okay. How you get dunked on? You mad at nigga? Like most times, you get mad at they scream. at their teammates. Like, bro, why you let him? Like, bro, like, it's so funny because it's like, oh, 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 you dunking on people? Okay, oh, you want to fight? No, Honestly, though, that is what you're supposed to do. If, if, if you get dunked on, like, say if you get dunked on, the the street, street ball game, wait, you gotta go to the trunk. Who has ever been dunked on? I've never been dunked on. I've been dunked on. I jump. All right, how, in what context? Did your teammates watch it? Oh, he's told the story before. But tell it again, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were I have in, another story, but I ain't gonna name no We was in zones, and when you're in a zone, it's, it sucks, you know? Uh, so sometimes, yeah, you, you and I was in yourself up for the and I was a younger kid, I was a younger kid, so my head wasn't on a swivel, <laughs> like it should have been. Gots to keep the head on a swivel. And uh, you know there was a veteran. It was not a veteran, but he was a senior. <laughs> he was older. It was Jimmy Butler. 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 It was Clint Flores. He didn't play. All I know is I'm putting your Jimmy Butler story in this story, and I mix them together from so now he, on. He, Jimmy he, Butler dunked on you. Jimmy wasn't even that good. Bro. I mean, it's honestly better to say yeah. you got dunked on by Jimmy Butler it than some guy that no one ever will know. That would have been nice. But yeah. it, but I mean, we should be honest about it. <laughs> but it was so some random nigga from uh, yeah. I for the whole thing. Mike Secretary was white. Mike Secretary. Nah, he was black. He was humble. Yeah, but yeah, they, they just do it. They, 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 they skip pass. I'm in. I'm in the weak side. Skip pass. Oh, you're downplaying it. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was over here. Came. I turned around. They threw an alley. By the time I looked up, it was over. 
So, the teammates didn't warn you at all. You got knocked out? No, no, it was just. So I turned so, around. And I, I wanted to so get I it. It, was, it wasn't it's too late. I could do, and he just dunked it over. So me. when the, the sweat from his nuts just dripped on your lip, like no it, nuts. What did it feel like? It was stomach though. It was a little okay. stomach. She so, had a six pack. You were playing. That was in a, that was in a game. I will game, tell you though, that. Right? Huh? That yeah. was in a game. You oh, had a real game. game. Organized, street, organized, street, organized. Yeah. In a street oh, ball game, though. No, right? hell. All right. Well, look, we were playing against some people that were clearly out there thinking they were gonna get a ten day. Okay. <laughs> At Cypress Wood, you know, it's just not gonna happen. Yeah. yeah. So we're in transition. I'm holding my guy because he's out. He's been killing us from corner three. So I'm over there. One of my homeboys, I'm not gonna name any names, is holding his dude down in the paint. But the guy driving decides, I'm about to end this whole man's day, career, everything, and just goes up. And everyone on our team is just watching it. My homeboy is like, got his face. To the dude he's holding, not, no idea that this man's him. coming straight down the lane to dunk on him. No one says anything, and he happens to turn around just in time for I don't know if nuts hit his face, <laughs> but they were definitely in the general vicinity <laughs> for, for it to have happened. That's tough. And he just yammed at him. It was outside. Right. Yeah, it was outside. Ooh. All right, so from that story. In front of Everybody. At least 80 people. So from that story, I don't know who's in, in at fault. Uh, the team? He. I was going to say, you're telling this story, and it doesn't sound like you tried to help him at all. I thought it would happen Whoever from you. Somebody's okay. going to stop ball before First he gets to half court. Stop ball. I have my guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have my guy in the corner. Okay? I was going to say, move. At, at worst, I'm a bad guy for not yelling something out. Yeah, at worst. Yeah, at worst. But right. if you know somebody about it, if you got a Russell Westbrook looking motherfucker, you got to stop that the ball. Dude, the dude, on the other the dude side was a good 6'5". So yeah, oh, yes, he probably had yes. strides and all that. Oh, yeah. all right, it so, happened real fast. So there's three people that, uh, that are at fault. Yeah. Real fast. The team, they could have spoke up. Yes. The probably. dude that dunked on him. No you, communication. You, you didn't have to do no that. No communication. His, I will admit his, to that. His back will see you. You didn't have to dunk on him. That was fucked up. Out of position. But the I'm, dude that got dunked on him. <laughs> Y'all might say I'm fit to blame it, but why didn't he go to his car and ruin everybody else's day for getting dunked on? Because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed I mean, to be like, that's ah, real is it? I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> and just well, get out of the We left the court after that. I mean, you kind of got to, right? Yeah, yeah. I didn't get dunked on, but a teammate got yeah, you can't come. There's no coming back from that. There's no coming back. You throw the ball. So. Oh. <laughs> and it was game point. For goal. So, so yeah, when you, when it, the, the, how long did it take the smell to get the smell of another man off of you? Like after get dumped on. Well, I got some really really good Irish Spring. <laughs> <laughs> so it didn't take Irish that. Spring? Irish Spring. Brothers ain't supposed to. It's got a strong Irish scent. Spring. What? <laughs> Brothers ain't supposed to use Irish Spring. Irish Spring. What y'all use? I'm good. Dove. Y'all don't use uh, I use, nah, I don't I use, use black soap. I use the. Are you trying to you use black soap? Yeah, I do, brother. <laughs> See, that's what you don't understand. Oh no! Man. Don't get him oh, started. Man. I use I use another old pro black wokey wokey. Yes, I use black soap. Brother. I use old, old spice. Is my skin is correct. Old spice. I also yeah. use that nah, too. Nah, old spice. No, I almost sued they motherfucking nashes. Cause one time I put on some, and I ain't mean to curse like that, but I put on some deodorant, man. That shit almost goddamn burnt my skin off. Mm. See? That sounds like you got that's disease. That devils. <laughs> See, that's no, like, you need that's to use that black. You need to use that black deodorant. See, that shouldn't be you nothing. Yeah, know. Terry Crews was on Old Spice. Old Spice is what's his name from right. Blackish on him right now? And uh, well, the alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Old Spice. He was the. Uh, because they paid him money? Yeah. Uh, uh, and. and uh, he was. Yeah, he was uh, what was he doing? He was a spokesman. And what's the name of the person? The Terry Jermaine. That was black dude. No, not. Brothers are supposed to use Old Spice, bro. Not Raphael. Exactly. No, they're not gonna buy it. Obviously, they don't care about hygiene. So no, he's marketing to the wrong. No, market. he does. He does commercial, and he get women from it. It's like the Axe commercial. He's like he can get women from the old. Yeah, but everybody hates Axe, so those commercials, those campaigns, not, yeah, not put in an old and put put a fat dude in an old spice or any soap commercial. And also, yeah, also old spice also isn't Axe. Like old spice is fine. That shit is actually like real good. Yeah, no, I don't know. Oh, 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 like, oh, oh, like, uh, so what was whatever. It, so what did y'all learn? What did y'all get from from? Uh, from the year ending, what did y'all learn from not a decade or whatever you want to say this shit was? Oh, I learned that if I do nothing healthy for a decade, I'll only gain 45 pounds. Only? 
That's over ten years. Four pounds a year ain't bad, I guess. Uh, I ain't getting <laughs> shit. Huh? I ain't getting shit. Yo, you worked out for periods of that day. Don't fucking lie. You gained debt. I tried to gain. You gained debt. Gained debt. A weed habit. A few exes. Huh? A couple bumps on your dick. Nope. Things get uh, <laughs> things I'm, get picked up. I have lucked up and not <laughs> it though. I didn't, Everybody gets STDs, man. That ain't luck for me. I ain't ran across well, none of them. I was joking. What did you just say? That ain't luck. <laughs> no, I'm saying. I ain't ran across <laughs> none of them people. That's not luck for luck me to not me. run into an STD. That is luck. No, it ain't. That is Nick luck, York? brother. It's it ain't nothing but luck. I can edit luck. this out if you want me to edit you said this out. <laughs> <laughs> time out. Time out. I can edit this out if you want me. That ain't nothing but luck. But I am confident. That you have a higher body count than Mike, me, and Charles combined. Well, nah, nah. Well, I'm not adding much to that body count, so it's <laughs> probably like. Also, you just admitted like an hour and a half ago, Thotten was your second favorite sport. It is. At this point, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not I'm, I won't be honest with you. I said I was going to edit it out, but I'm not. So keep it going. <laughs> so what's the point? What? Of wearing condoms. Whoa. Bro, you why are you pushing this fucking I don't support club, that, man. I just bought a floor pack the other day, and I got to go buy another hey, 24 pack exists. tomorrow. But it's yeah, cool. but it's not that bad. Well, I was thinking well, of you. You can live with HIV for now. Thought being your favorite. No. And then, I mean, if you want to be a pro thought, I do I do assume you have to go without a condom. Well, take that one off. Hell no, you don't. Well, it's luck then. You gotta use you gotta use prudence and discernment I'm, when you. Well, I'm gonna be honest with Wait, you. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What did you say? You gotta use prudence and discernment when you you know. What's the first word you said? Prudence, prudence and discernment. Prudence. Now explain to me. Just understand. You gotta use your own wisdom. Like whether you gotta make your own call. Is it should I go up in this raw or should I bring, or should I put this rubber on? Are you well, I mean, if you wanna be in the pull out hall of fame, you can't wear condoms. What the? F well, that's how you train yourself. But are you a gynecologist? No. You still so so I'm confused on the prudence and the and, and the uh, discernment. I'm, I'm, saying what thing, I'm saying within What's yourself. You gotta break? understand. You gotta you gotta make that decision for yourself. Do so I want to take is, this chance or no? So what you're saying is you go raw on the girls you think, and you cool. never want to take that chance. I mean that's what I'm saying. If you you, you gotta sick. take that chance for yourself. If you feel like you can trust this woman, if this woman say, "Hey, I only been with ten guys." In a pat and I'm 29 years old. What J Cole say? Or whatever. Five by three. Or I ain't been with a girl. I ain't been with a guy in two months, three months. Or I just, just got about? checked out. Here my papers, and she flipped it out of her phone woman. and shit. You, hey, you by all means. This. So, so I just so want to know, just so man to man. Yeah. So you smashing, and a girl takes the condom off for you. Do you do you slap her hand away? She doesn't. It happens. She doesn't. It happens. She rape. doesn't. Uh -huh. That's rape. That is rape. <laughs> Actually, that is a fact. Rape. That's a fact. Rape because it's, it's definitely rape on the other side. So it's definitely it's rape. rape. Yeah. yeah. If you take the condom off of her, huh? Yeah. yeah if you, you take, take, take condom without, without telling her, that's rape. It's, a form of rape. it's part of the uh, rape oh, triangle, uh, rape pyramid. Really? That's rape. Yeah. So glad that I've never done that. Take the condom. I mean, I, I can see that being rape. She didn't consent to you being in there, bro. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't consent. You shouldn't. And you can ruin her whole life. Well, let's just say this. I don't even. Honestly, though, I don't promote sex at all, though. I, I don't promote it. You don't promote sex? No. You have it though. So? <laughs> I already told you. I, you just cause, hey, you, you don't preach, sex. you don't have to practice what you preach, but damn sure you, you probably should. Nobody though. wants to hear that. But you should probably practice, practice, you probably should practice what you preach though. Why would you? You should. Huh? Why, well, would why would you preach some bullshit and tell me you would have sex? Why would you? I would. would fuck it. Why? Fuck it. That's what I'm crazy. saying. That's, why would you say fuck it? No. It feels, it's, I would not tell my like you, if I ever had a, if the Most High ever blessed me with a, with a child, I would not prom encourage my child to have sex until they're married. Wow. No, no, period. no, but yeah, that's because is. you're trying to take your child. And if to I have a girl, have, I'm picking her husband. This. No, no grounded axioms. Well, that's if, not if, I, if I have a little girl, I'm picking her husband. About her? I don't know what the fuck that means. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, you don't want to tell your kids to do something that like I don't want to tell my kids to smoke stop. weed. But if they start smoking I weed, I understand. I'm telling you, right? There. But I'm not going to promote it to them. Huh? No, that's what I'm saying. You don't you don't tell your kids to do it, but like. Still good. Would you like like I know I know you guys are gay marriage supporters, but yeah. would y'all promote y'all kids to be gay? I'm not marriage supporter at all. Don't put that on me. <laughs> he doesn't support marriage in any form. No. He, said, I he said marriage. So he said marriage. Answer your question. Answer your question. I don't support marriage. <laughs> to, your, to, your, uh, to, your, to answer your question, no, because selfishly, I want my kids to be like me. So. And I'm not a gay exactly. man. So selfishly, mm. I can say, also, I don't want my kids to be gay. He's against marriage. I'm not having no kids. Well, I'm not I'm against it. That question. He's against I'm kids. Just... He's against marriage. Wait, you don't want kids? 
No, he won't be kids, but he don't want to be married. He don't want to be in a family. He don't want to be married, but he don't want to have kids. Oh, this is a this is a oh. I don't feel like marriage is a. Let's talk. Piece of paper. It's real. What do you? Ah. At this time, in this society, it's not. People don't get married for the right reasons. I understand that. You can't take the women serious. But not even just that. But how easy it is to get divorced? Not how easy it is. How many people get divorced? First of all. Divorce is even is, the even the okay, I, I, creation of marriage, which was created essentially to for money. Right, so it's not really. About, you don't like money. It's not about love. I think what you're saying it's to pointless. just to to, 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 to do you like money? Yeah, but it's pointless. But money, Mike. Do you like money? But you can put you can get money without being married. But my question, my uh, are you saying that because pe people got married because the woman would not be able to live without? A man at some point in time? Is that what you're saying? Well, no. Oh. In terms of I said money? Yeah. No, I just meant like in terms of like basically like the construct is basically to keep certain families rich and shit like that at like at one point in time. Like, I mean, that, that has happened. Yeah. I don't know if like, marriage was invented for that, but it has uh, happened. It's I mean, facilitated. And it, it's, sure. I'm just saying yeah. in terms of like bringing one thing together. The resources together. So basically, bring a resource. Why won't you get married? married? Is what I'm asking. I didn't say I wouldn't get married. I said I don't. I don't feel like it's. Nobody wants to get married. Somebody with bumps on their head. Well, no, it's uh, <laughs> not at all. That's not the situation. <laughs> it's not a. It's pointless. It's pointless. Well, here's the thing. It's literally pointless. Like, what is the point? Outside of money. I will say. Like I mean, yeah, you can be you can with somebody be, without. Yes, love. You can literally have everything that a marriage has without getting married. Well, I think the I point. Mean, I, some people. Want I would say, huh? You can get them without, you can have a diamond ring too. You can do every what? single thing. <laughs> you how do you feel about marriage? Legal. How do you feel about marriage? That's legal. I feel like you're putting legality like, and no, no, no. I'm just saying. Religion together. There are certain. Well, no, no. I gotta hear his his point of view on marriage because. So you're a single man, right? You're not a single man. No, sir. You live with a woman. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about marriage? I feel like marriage is, I think uh, marriage is something that, I'm, I don't, I'm not against marriage, like uh, 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 our brother here. Like, but like, money, yeah, I, respect, do do. I respect his opinion 100%. Uh, but I will say this, um, I don't, I'm not one of the people to be like, oh, you should wait to get married to have sex because uh, you're not having sex in marriage. Like, I'm assuming you said that because in God's eyes it's not appropriate. Well, I think well, what I'm saying is I think um, appropriately you shouldn't have sex before marriage. I don't think I think sex is strictly for the purpose of procreating. Mm -hmm. And when you don't, when you have sex without with, with that with that not in mind, mm -hmm. uh, you know. But you know, like, like, I'm, it's, it's not, I'm it's glad you right. said that because but, and, and, I'm, and you're, you're coming from a person that does have sex. Yeah. I mean, I don't. But, and that right. is and that is what the Bible yeah. and oh. most religious texts will say. You're here to have sex to procreate. But I think a lot of people get married to have sex without the uh, like. Oh, they're married, so yeah, you can nut on her face. But that's not what God wanted you to do. I don't think right. that's oh, what I ain't no, I'm, no, I'm saying. I've never heard that being a book. I'm just saying. Like, I'm using that. I ain't never. I'm using that. What? That's the part of sex. I married like, like, people. I'm a nut in your face. But people, yeah. but people will have people. But, but what my point is, people are having sex without without the the intent of having a baby. They're having it for pleasure, and right. that is not the point of having sex. It's not. You're not supposed to gain pleasure from it. That's why. It feels good. I mean, if we wanted to go for a religious standpoint, it feels good because it's supposed to be the forbidden fruit, and things that feel good are probably not for you. No, but that's supposed to move off your feelings. Anything, that, anything that's it's good, you probably you're not. Uh, if, do you like steak? Yeah, no. but you're not supposed to eat it because it's no, you're, you're being a glutton. Well, you're also, also like, yeah, you're, you're being a glutton. Like, you're also like, like three miles too. That huh? feels good running three miles. Yeah, you run three miles, but don't run seventeen where you pass no, out. Die. But I'm saying, if you run three miles, that feels good. Like, <laughs> no, it doesn't. Here's the issue. I contest that. Here's the issue. Here's the issue. Here's the issue. <laughs> here's the issue. Can. But here's the issue. Can. Here's the issue. Good. Somebody will, somebody will argue. I'm not me because I'm not religious. Somebody will argue. Be like, well, were you run? No, I'm not religious. Would you run? Are you running? Uh, <laughs> are you running three miles in uh, for God? Or are you running for yourself? Because if you're not doing it for God, it's now a sin. The black man People is argue God, it. brother. Uh, I mean, yes, obviously. That's but how it is. but uh, <laughs> every man, they is wouldn't, God. They wouldn't, they wouldn't. All men are God, not response. just black men. Because they would ask me that for like, pointless reason. Huh? They know why I'm running that three miles. I just was saying it in terms of like 
Sex feels good because your nerve endings in your penis. That's the scientific reason. I'm just I'm saying, I said the religious reason because because people that uh, believe in religion oh, yeah, yeah, ignore the fact yeah. that the Bible was created thousands of millions of years but after when, humans already when you, lived, when you, lived. But whatever. All right, so uh, how do you feel about marriage? You say you don't want you don't want kids. No. I don't. Why don't you want kids? I don't like kids. I don't like you don't like kids. kids. I don't like kids. Don't like kids. kids. <laughs> you were once one. So. so? <laughs> I mean, you like this. What does that matter? Wow. Well, I kids. love chicken and once I was an egg, I hate eggs, so. Oh, boy, that's a good one. So you don't, you don't want to have kids ever? Nope. My wow, that's crazy. That's, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's not an uncommon thing, bro. A lot of people don't want kids, men and women. I particularly want kids, but I understand why you why, wouldn't. Why, that why, lifestyle why does seem like it's Well, you say you don't like them. So oh, I guess you no, don't I'm like not, them. I don't want to change my life. Do you, are, do you, do you, uh, are you married? Mm-mm. Girlfriend? Mm. So if you get a girlfriend or get married and she wants to have kids, you gonna tell her no? No, I'm gonna tell you exactly what happens. Men have been doing this for decades and we need to we need to come together, uh, not decades, millennia. We need to come together and have a sit down and decide what we're gonna now do. Because what he would do in that situation, man, fuck it, she wants kids, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna just be miserable for the next 40, 50, 60 years of my life. What we need to start doing as men, these women want their equality, we need to give it to them. No. 100% need to give them their equality. Hell no. no. This is why I need to see. You're making a mistake. You give them equality is a win for us. I'll tell you why. In a lot of ways. If they want to be equal, when you go out to eat, who pays for it? You. Yes. Why? That, it's not even answers to does a lot that, of this shit. Does that not you suck? Ask why. Does that not suck? No, it, it is what it is. It's it does. No, it's would, not. Would you rather say, say, say you went to some place and it would have been $20 for you to eat and $20 for her to eat? Would you rather pay $40 or would you rather pay 20 Look, I'm paying for my woman to eat. Why? Mm -hmm. Why? Because that's my woman. And that's fine. If you feel in your heart you want to gift your woman a, 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 a no, meal, you, you should be able to do that. Wait. But you're gifting that to her. It should not be a requirement because we're supposed to be and eating. It, it will... To be honest, though, it is a requirement, and that's why. As a man, and that's it is a requirement. It's as a man, that's you're not required. It's not equality, bro. I don't believe in equality. Y'all already know that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm telling I don't you. Believe in equality it. is a win There's for no us. Such thing as equality. To answer your question, though, I'm fine with marriage. I don't believe in that. Equality is a win for us. Women have been getting the upper hand on us for years. No, they haven't, bro. We've been working in bullshit fucking jobs, going to wars, uh, uh, dying. 10 years before they die because we're stressed the fuck out. Why? Mm -hmm. They ain't well, even doing shit. Also, a lot of men do stupid well, shit. I mean, so. Dumb shit. Yeah. <laughs> there's that. We all have uh, trenches. I ain't gonna lie to you. Any woman, any woman that come over here this way ain't this no way? equality coming around this motherfucker. Oh, well, it's hey, out there now. Man, <laughs> man, man, equality coming back this motherfucker. Hey, it's gonna be straight. Unequal. How many white beaters do you own? <laughs> now, How many white beaters? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Either, if it's, if it's, if it's only one, not, it's not concerned. my way or the highway. Mm. But it that, sounds quite that's like exactly that. what it sounds like, though. Explain. 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 It ain't my way or the highway. It seems like. You it. get two cent or whatever. Damn, 98%? But all that, oh shit, let me pay for your shit, let me do all that, let me do it, nah. We ain't is, doing that. What is the non-equality? Let me yeah. tell you why no, you're, get, you're getting hustled in that, that situation. You're going, you're, going, you're, going, you're, getting, you're going to work all day, right? You expect your wife to be at home? My wife? Yeah, your woman, your, whatever you want. Um, if, if ideally, you, I would want my wife to be at home, but that's, but that's you, after we have kids. See, you, that's after we have kids. Let me tell you why that's a hustle. The first three, four, five years of your life of, of having kids, 100%. It does, it's it's going to suck for her. You know what's going to happen for the next uh, 13 years of their life? They ask going to be at school for eight hours a day, and if they're good kids, they're going to be there for ten doing extracurricular shit. That's ten hours of her day to herself to do whatever the fuck she wants. Yeah, that's While you're at work, busting your ass, dying early because nah, you're shit. stressed out. Nah, you can hustle. Get you got hustle. Whatever. So you got hustle. She's going to get a goddamn hobby. A hobby is something you love to do. You getting hustle, bro. A hobby is Netflix. A hobby is jacking off. Nah, she's going to get a hobby. 
A hobby is something that you. But mostly, but mostly the liberal women working, so I'm pretty sure. I don't sure, hear the liberal woman shit. I'm pretty sure uh, the woman uh, I have is gonna be working and she'll have her. You don't career. want no liberal woman. You know, you, you know, know what's gonna end up happening. I don't have a choice because you know what's gonna oh, end up happening. There's some women out there who don't want to work. Yeah, lots of that are liberal. Trust me, that are liberal. And look, I don't want a liberal woman that don't want to work. That's the worst. Let me tell you, let me tell you what's gonna end up happening. Let me tell you what's gonna end up happening. You're gonna want to work. Your check is gonna be to uh a hundred percent of your check is gonna go to. Towards the stuff that goes around in the house, hundred percent of that is. Honey, you hundred percent. I'm not worried too? about that though. Her fucking pocket. You're getting hustled. No, I'm not. I'm not worried about that. No woman is gonna take my money. That's his joy. Yeah. Oh no, the woman's not taking your your money. The household is taking your money. It's my house. <laughs> you think your wife runs your house? Yeah, not, she not, does run it. Your so wife is supposed to run it. I pay for it. I provide it. I protect it. I got the pistol. Sounds the like your quality. So is anybody in here hear how he's getting hustled besides me? Oh no! It's yeah, definitely oh, where's the hustle? How does she run it? She's you running. You're, she's running the house, and you're 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 liquidating everything. Not yeah, liquidating. She make, when when not I come like, home, she's you're funding me. everything. When I get home, she's you're got the benefactor. When I get home, there's you're a meal cooked. The beds made. My clothes are out. Yeah, she running the motherfucking house. Let, let, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you a little secret. I do all I that do by myself, and it doesn't take long. Oh, I do. I, I don't need a woman. You know what's the easiest? You don't thing? have to have a woman, and that's the most important thing for men. Men need to understand you don't have to be with a woman. A woman is just is a help you. The woman is supposed to. Her job is to help you. That Wait. is her job. Wait, that's her so, job. So when your job is you don't need her. a woman. No, but no. ain't your argument that we put here to procreate? Of course. So you do need a woman to procreate, yes. And he's saying he doesn't want to, he doesn't need a woman to be like his partner. So yeah, why, yeah, I can do all those things by myself, but you can I think the, I think the purpose of life is to procreate, and I think the pro purpose of life is to. I mean, you go in the bathroom, into the cup, they take that cup, and they take it to take it to the lab, they put it in, <laughs> put it in the freezer, for it, and they put it in one of the eggs. <laughs> You can do it by yourself. That's why I was gonna. No, ask but that. I, no, I, I see what you're saying though. You're saying that you need a woman as a man to procreate because that's our purpose. But I think it's important as a man that you have yourself established as a. As oh no, I own. understand that. Before you get involved with the woman, you have to be established on your own. You can't be, you know, still in that mind. You need hustle, but. Not really have you hustle. Not understand the money system. You hustle. You don't have men have been hustle for a, years. If you don't have a, a steady income and you can't take care of yourself, how are you gonna take care of another woman? Like a woman well, is want to take care. That's what I'm saying. When you get to well, that I point, even equality. Why? Why, why, each other. why take care of her? Because that's her job. Up. Because women can't take care of themselves. She needs to be. She, I mean, they she definitely need, A woman needs you. Mm. Nah, most of these women. Nah, man. And it's not even most, but. The woman's job. I mean, I just got out of a relationship with a very capable woman to take care yeah. of herself, no problem. Yeah, right. She definitely needed you, trust me. Yeah. Right. She definitely needed I don't you. Think you. I don't think you realize think that so. but women have been have been playing the long game. Shout out to Andrew Schultz. We uh uh we have literally been working the hardest jobs. We invent AC, all of a sudden, oh shit, we wanna work too. We are our jobs now are relatively easy compared to what like our great grandfathers had, well, our great great, great grandfathers was, didn't have jobs. They were, you know, doing working for free. My great grandfather was a slave. Unwillingly <laughs> employed. Yeah. Well, one, one, of my, nice one of my great grand, grand, grandfathers was a slave master. Being a slave master was Jeff probably a worse job nice. than what you have to do now. Nigga, you were standing outside all day. Even if you weren't doing the work, that shit still sucked. Like, well, I don't know if it sounds like thing. you yeah, don't like, like being a man, Chris. I love being a man, but you I don't like also, doing the things like, that mm -hmm. men have to do. Huh? What? Wait, hey, you say men have to do. Yeah, well, first of all, first of all, <laughs> hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> we ain't gonna wait for uh, Mike to come back, so I'm gonna make this point. I never said I didn't. I, I, I said I was gonna do all the things that I'm currently doing, mm -hmm. but you're also, she's also gonna do those same things if we're going to be equal. I never said I didn't like. I, I, I didn't want to do things as a man. Do you not want to pay? Do you not want to take care of your woman? I don't want to have to take care of anybody. Nope. No, I'm not. No, so I do not want, want to take care of your woman. Huh? You do not want to protect your woman. No, do you not want to actually. Let me answer that question for you. Do you not want? To I want to do that. 
I don't want to have to. I don't want it to be an obligation. Okay. I don't want it to be a, a demand. I don't want it to be a necessity. A necessity. But do you want to do those three things? Huh? Do you want to do? Those I would three love things? to do those three. Those that's three all things. that matters. But that's no, all that, that matters. That's not that matters because this is my point. <laughs> you can't tell me my point don't matter. My point is this. You're doing it on stipulation. My it's point is about, this. I don't want it to have to be that way. It's not, and that's how why you get hustled. How do you know if it has to be that? That is how. Because it's in, to your, be. in your in your that's how it's supposed to be to you. In your situation, in your situation, it has to be that way because you want your wife to be at home how is that home going to exist without well, any type of income because you you have you to be already, able to provide it you should already have your home you, you should already have your home you should already have your home you should be able to provide and take care of your home before you even get with a woman the woman is moving in with you mm -hmm. she's just coming in to help out in the house so you don't see you don't need that woman to, that so you don't see how you're getting hustled that woman what should year, not be paying a bill all right, all right. Let's take let's take let's take men and women out of it. Let's take men and women out. Of it. Yeah, it's funny, it's funny. Let's take let's take yeah, men like, and women out of it. You wash your hands. Right, Cyril, man. Cyril, let's take men and women out of it. How would you feel if I was like, hey, Cyril, every t uh uh every time you come to the crib, I'm gonna make sure you got food cooked. I'm gonna make sure your bed is made, your clothes is clean. You gonna let me stay at your crib? No. So, <laughs> but but why wouldn't you let me stay at your crib? Because you're a guy. But you would feel like I was doing what? Doing too much. Or taking <laughs> or taking advantage of you, would you not? No, I'd be like, bro, you do. All right, so let me let me talk to let me talk to somebody with some. Let me. I'm not getting. Why you dream have to ask me? Let me let me ask somebody that knows, bro. Let me go get a job. Let me ask. Let me ask somebody that can use logic in 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 this situation. That is logic, Mike. If if I was like, hey, Mike, I'm gonna come stay at your crib. Your clothes gonna be clean. Your uh, food gonna be cooked, no bed gonna be doing made. That for me. I'm not, but, it, but uh, it's all done. Yeah, it's weird. I don't want no man doing it's that weird. for me every day. I, I know. That's weird. I know what you're trying to say, but that's but, weird. Would you feel like somebody was taking advantage of you? Are you paying rent? No. No, you are paying rent. No. No, no but you are. But that's no. the point I'm making. But once you start living there, you're paying rent. That's all I'm like. No. I, I can't think from his mindset. <laughs> so you <laughs> asking me that question. I'm not paying rent. Mike is basically saying, but I, you're you're saying, saying what I know what you're saying. Yeah, I can't think of Because what you don't want to believe, like you don't want to believe that your <laughs> that, that women have been hustling our asses for years. No, they haven't. They've been, you, we have been getting hustled. No, we haven't. So you get to you get to be at home and then make it seem like, oh my God, being a mother and a housewife is the hardest job you can do. The fuck it is it? That ain't no fucking hard job. I will trade. And I will uh, go work at go I work would, at you. So, so I don't like but kids. Go work I at you. I don't want to change no diapers. I, do. I don't want to wash no dishes. How long do I don't want to fucking How long do kids floors? stay in oh. diapers? How and long do kids stay in diapers? How long do kids stay in diapers? How long do kids stay in diapers? Hey, floors need vacuum and How long? How okay? How long? This has got to vacuum every day. Clothes need washing every day. Okay. Clothes need so, washing every day. None of these things are hard. How long do these things take? take? No, but those are things that no I don't want to do. I don't, don't want to go to work either, but I got to do that shit for eight, nine, ten hours out of the day. You have Cleaning up the house well, takes an hour. What's your uh, one what's over ten is way better. You having to do do it. What? You don't want to do those things. What's the problem with just having to do do it then? Because you're homophobic. Because I don't. No, because I don't want to. I, I don't want to be around a guy all the time doing my laundry. You're not gonna be around me. I'm just gonna be at work. You're at work. You're at work. I don't want a guy touching my drawers. I'm cool with guys touching my drawers. Well, you don't touch my drawers now. She just takes the dump, the thing, and dumps it in the. In the uh, we have technology, bro. You don't gotta touch touch people's shit no more. You ain't gotta wash my shit. You can wash why? That's why your stain is so dirty, bro? You don't, you don't need that. I need to wash. I need wash. Your yeah. shit stains that so yeah. I mean, I know we all get shit stains from time to time, but Jesus. I, don't have shit I just like my hand washed and air dried. So. So you are this living with it. What? I need you to do that. I need you to do that. I need you to do that. I forgot what year you live in. God damn. What year are you living in? Bro. The answer. It's just wild. You don't see in this situation how anybody can hustle. No one's getting hustled, man. This is how life's supposed Women to be. Women have been hustling men all these years. Yeah, yeah. Being a mom is such you the hardest your, job. You want your girl to go work at the warehouse or work I, at the at the at the I, at the plant? I wouldn't <laughs> want her to go work at a warehouse. I wouldn't I want my homies to work at a warehouse. Yeah, but right? sometimes you got to. Get to work. Work is work. Uh, Y'all want your women to be working. Put that belt on. That's tough. I'm fine with them working. Put I'm, that belt on. I'm fine with them working. working too, but I don't want them. Them in some thick. I don't want my homies to work. If it it was up to me. All my homies, I'd be rich and all my homies would be straight. We all did. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is, life, life means you have to work to live. So, bitch, get your
your ass out this house and work to live. That is how life works. Shit. Yeah, but the and let me tell you, and let me tell you, but let me tell you, but you know why that? It's my job to protect the You know why that is a thing, though? You know why women have been going from their mom and dad's house to the man's house? That's how it's Because they didn't have a choice. Society has told them they can't have a job. They don't know how to pick shit. Why? Why? They don't know how to pick shit. What? 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 Ask a woman what she want to eat. I don't know. Ask me what I want to eat. I'll be like, fuck, nigga, I don't fucking know as long as it's cheap. Because well, yeah. I pay for both of us. Because I'm getting fucking hustled. Nigga, <laughs> you supposed to know what you want to eat. Mm -hmm. As a man, you supposed to know what you want to eat. Sometimes I want cheap. Sometimes needs I want that, real. The needs to be told what to do all the time. I don't know. So that is offensive as fuck. It's not offensive. That's what it is. It is offensive. And trust and me. It's true. And, that, and, it's, and trust me, your woman wants you to tell her what to do. Trust that me. is offensive, but yeah, that's true. Wait, are you? But, <laughs> are that you that is true. Wait, that, are come you, on, no, now your no, woman. That is true. <laughs> I'm not gonna disargue. I'm not gonna argue. Come that women say, that. "Oh, don't tell me what to do," but they do want you. to Women know, want you to tell them what to do. But not the way you're trying to say. Yes, exactly how I'm saying. They want you to be in control and be a man. They don't know what they want. You have to tell them what they want. They don't know what they want. But that's why. Well, that's why. Well, that's why. Well, how do they know? That's why. That's why back in the day. 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 Fathers chose their daughters' crazy. husbands for them because they don't know how to choose men. Bro. They choose men over like their fathers. Fathers don't choose good men either. They just chose men. Good fathers. Good fathers. Good fathers. Not back then. Good fathers. You got how many cows or goats you're gonna give me? You know what that also sounds like? Yes. Bitch and pussy game back then was trash, nigga. Because no, bitch and pussy game was good because it was tight. They went all they was virgins. First of all, tight pussy ain't no virgins. In this second society. of all, second of all, Only tight pussy means she don't want to want to fuck with you because if you know anything about science, the pussy loosens up as she gets wet. And if she likes you, she gonna be super wet and super loose. Or you just working with a dick that's way too big and you need to go see a doctor because you got bumps. Now, second, <laughs> <laughs> you got bumps. Now, but now, or your shit really just too big. Me. Yeah, hey, seriously. I mean, if it is, I mean, <laughs> congratulations. You can also tell us how big the dude's dick was that dumped on you, but we can talk about that off camera. Now, the thing is, the pussy game back then had to be trash because they didn't fucking like you. It's like, oh, fuck yeah. And they didn't get to try nothing. Yeah, you can learn to like somebody. Fuck, fuck you, spend, you spend enough time with somebody. Fucking dry out. I remember. You were okay remember. with the stop. And, and that shit was a shade. And they that didn't have no, no right. training. And they have, yeah, exactly. They didn't get no, 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 no practice, no practice in. in. God, tweaking, man. See, see, you, you, you know what? You what? spoiled. Yeah. You spoiled. Or what? Because if you lived in a you day, don't know how you, good you got. Yeah, what well, these females wasn't practicing out here? Well, they wasn't getting it in before marriage. And that's why you wouldn't to go to be like that. I wish they knew what they to go to doing. my point from my last from the last podcast. Your grandfather was doing one or two things: cheating on your grandmother or beating her ass, and it was acceptable back Fuck. then. <laughs> my grand, damn, damn. My great grandfathers, like they was one of my great grandfathers was not with his wife. Well, my grandmother, my grandfather was not with his my grandmother. He was looking for the loose hoes. Like Papa got, was a Rolling Stone. Yeah, it was like, not a song just because they were making. I got one grandparents, like one group of grandparents who stayed together. Really. Motherfuckers was cheating, and then people would be like, "Oh my God, divorce rates are so hot." They're the same, same. They're fifty percent, just like they were in the forties. They just weren't doing no documentation. They're just leaving. <laughs> that too. <laughs> yeah. And women had less mobility. But that's the thing. Niggas would go to work. Right the they would be at work from I'm, sun I'm up to sun down. Taking their driver's licenses. Oh my Jesus! Jesus, bro. Wait, what? <laughs> Anybody? I don't agree. That's dating Cyril. <laughs> please. I'm confiscating your driver's license. I'm asking you, please. <laughs> if you need help, call me. Call me. You, right call, you can call. Leave a comment. They One eight hundred. Please save me. I'm taking away driver's license. I'm taking away. Uh, Passports, all that. Where are you going? You sound like you're starting to be R. Kelly. R. Kelly? Like, this is probably how he began. Exactly. This is how he oh. ended up with women that That's lived cool. in his house and couldn't never leave. You going to get, bro. You just. He'll take care of them. Sir, you need to take care of them, sir. Yeah. Hey, as long as. Hey, if, this, if they don't want to go nowhere. They want to go nowhere and you don't let them. <laughs> they can't. It's not about them now. They want to be. All you got to do is say, can I have my passport? Can I have my license? And They're not. Here you go. They're too scared. <laughs> why, why would they be scared? I mean, like you walking there with a, 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 a 40 in one hand, exactly. a white beat on. Telling them what to do because they want to be told what to do. 
They do. They don't know what they want, so they, you gotta tell them. Most women are whimsical and capricious. We all know you that. just learned that word. This no, I did not. Word. I've been saying this for months. <laughs> what is here? most? You put two of them. Give me a percentage. No, let me tell you what the issue is. 99.9999. Zero fucks nothing but hoes. That's nothing the but issue. Literal women. So you fuck know, nothing but hoes. I know you haven't met a woman, woman yet. I know the literal woman like the back of my hand. Go your fuck off. Most of them, for the most part, you can't take most, any of these women seriously. Most women seriously. aren't even because they don't take themselves seriously. Most yeah, women, they don't have integrity. You're not dating. You're, you're, not dating you're not dating women. You're dating hoes. Concubines. Yeah. Hoes. Concubines. The ones that your grandfather was cheating on your grandmother with. Hoes. Concubines. The ones that knew what the fuck they were doing. It is. But there's not too many good women out here, though. Huh? There's not too many good women out here. It is. You just don't know how to find them because you be looking in the club or wherever you I don't go at. to the club. I, I mean, most of them at the gas station. It's not a That's not really a step That's up, bro. a great place to look at. <laughs> <laughs> you said the gas station? Yeah. Yeah. Most of my women out here at the gas station. I'm not going to lie to you. I ain't going to lie to and you. And let me, let's just, it, it let's just going put, a, make, let's put a hypothetical. How do you approach a woman? What do you say to her? You ain't got no man putting your gas in your car? That's all some shit a dumb bitch will fall for. <laughs> You be getting nothing but dumb bitch. Your real bitch be like, I don't need no man. That's exactly. I don't need no man. Girl, you know you need a man. No, I don't. See, they say it like that. A a real, a real woman be like, huh? But nigga, bye. (laughs) But you, they entertain you. Or they just don't acknowledge you. Or that too. No, I turn around and all this shit. They don't acknowledge you. Oh, you don't hear me? I used to be that nigga, that annoying nigga. (laughs) (laughs) You don't hear me? Which you don't hear me? So you have a killer now. That's what you drop. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Now, I, I used to go I used to go downtown like back when I was like 20, 21, I used to go downtown, me and my cousins or me and my partners and shit, go downtown, parking lot, pimp and shit, cause we couldn't get in. We wasn't 21 yet. And we just walk around downtown hollering at all the women and shit in the little tall hills and shit. That's where I learned a little game, man. So. I mean, you all I think I learned here is you you date nothing but broke hoes and dumb ones. Dumb broke hoes. First of all, why they at the gas station? Getting gas. Oh, they need a Tesla? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. God damn. Everybody need gas. Look, 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 shit, look. Bill Gates get gas. No. I didn't ask that question. God damn. I didn't ask that question right. That's what the hell they do at the gas station. Why you doing at the gas station so much? Everybody does at the gas station. Let me reiterate. Why are they at the gas station at your hand? That is the question. You fucking it's the right? local gas station, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I don't live in the hood. I live in the suburbs, guys. You act like a hood rat. You act like a nigga exactly. that beats a woman. So I know you I ain't going to the suburbs. I swear to God, you. I know you go to the gas station with the cheapest gas. I live gas. down the street I know from here. Do. What gas station? <laughs> the hood is on the other side of the fucking highway. That's facts. The hood is right on the other side of the highway. And then on the other side of the highway. What side of the highway? 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 What here, nigga. <laughs> Drive north. Do you go to the gas station that has the cheapest gas, or you just go to the gas station here first? Nigga, I live on 1960. That didn't answer my question. <laughs> Do you go to the gas station the cheapest gas? Exxon. Huh? I go to Exxon. Is it the one with the cheapest gas? I don't know. If, uh, I don't know. I don't, I, honestly, I don't look at gas prices. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Oh shit. I don't know. Because I go to the same gas station and. I mean, so, what am I gonna so, do? Argue it down? Like, <laughs> that's really why. I two thirty nine. Nigga, get two thirty two dollars. That's two the risk that you don't even got. Two dollars. Yeah, y'all have a level of y'all, y'all have a level of of, of, of financial income or you know, discretionary income. I, mean, I just don't got. I stopped thinking about. Gas okay, so when you go when you go put your gas in, college. do you put in the same oh, amount of gas, or you just fill it? Do you put in twenty dollars, or do you fill your tank up? I fill my tank up. Cause what is this? It's so under you, like. But I have a lot of care yeah, about was, how much it costs. If you're gonna fill your tank up anyways. Why you well, let me tell you why. What are you gonna do? First of all, I get a discount by going to Shell, so Shell lets me know where the cheapest gas is, so I go to so the cheapest. So you drive. Way. No. You waste gas to go no. way to another no. gas station. No. It just so happens that the cheapest gas happens to be close to Shell to me. Ah, so, okay. What if it's not the cheapest gas closest to you? What if the cheapest gas is on the other side of town? You just find one on the way to the house. Yeah, I don't go to that one. I mean, I'm sure there's a cheaper gas station that I go to, but the one that's in my... I'm not an idiot. I go to the <laughs> ones that are in my vicinity. <laughs> <laughs> I only got a dollar ninety nine gas I don't go. I go within the the the, the, the uh, 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 a nice little radius. Like, I feel like people it's waiting to gas, gas me. looking for cheap gas. Like people, people do, do local do gas that. station. Like people <laughs> do, do that. Like, like, it's like a gas station right outside of your house. But let me tell you 
Let me tell you. My dad, there's a gas station. What I said, and I'm like, God damn it. Like, there's a gas station right outside my dad's neighborhood. Like, literally right there. Now, it's a little... And more expensive mm-hmm. than the other one that's on 45. Mm-hmm. But this one is right here. It's literally right here. So you pay for a convenience. That's how those now neighborhood <laughs> gas stations make that's up. That's what I'm saying. It's like, I mean, but you wasting gas just to go get some. Just to I mean, not if I'm going that way. Anyways. You drive a Challenger, so I understand I you going a mile is going to fuck you up. I drive a four cylinder, so me going a little bit further to get gas is not going to do that. And my too. gas is, ch- is more expensive, too. Wait, they don't even put the fucking price on my gas. premium? Yes. Oh, God. Oof. Now you put the damn price on my shit. I gotta look at the the regular. See, that's why you beating your girl so damn it much. You stressed out. <laughs> paying high gas prices, paying for her to live. See, that's also a reason. Beat, I wait, 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 what? I did not beat my girl. I've never beat her. I do not use I would never yet. no more. I would never I use premium before. Yet. And well, I'm not beating what? Huh? In my, uh, my last mouthful. Really? Just because, yeah. Oh no, you tripping. You getting hustled. No, I was using like Y'all using premium. Or, no, I was using premium. Well, you wild. Now I use premium. I used to have a V6, right? Mm-hmm. My last Malibu was a. Uh, it, 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 it might have been a V8. It was an LTZ. It might have been a V8. Oh, uh, well, then if it was a V8, no, then I kind of. It could have been a V8. Man, that's a hustle. That's why, that's why I was I don't remember if they put V8s in I know I wouldn't put regular gas. So you're telling me as a black man, you that's put some cars in your car? And you're wilder. You got a V8, Wait, then I understand. Wait, time out. Time out. As a black man, you put some cars in your car. When he said it, I was like, wait, time out. Time out. Don't say it was an LTZ, so I don't have a V8 in there. LTZ, yeah. You put something called Supreme in your car? Supreme? So-called. AKA? White the, supremacy? The, thank you. See, you know you, where I'm going. What you don't understand, the supreme is from the black man, from the supreme mathematics, my brother. See, what you don't understand, one is the knowledge. I don't know where he's That's going. the root, Absolutely my wrong. They taking the they taking the oil from black countries and taking all our resources and putting it in they white pockets. See, see diamonds, gold, oil, and you humans. See, that's and what's that called? Natural resources. Yes. That's natural supremacy, brother. Mm-hmm. They supremacy mm-hmm. is artificial, yes. fake, yes. flawed. Yeah. That ain't what the black man has, my yeah. brother. And that's why I put out my black Malibu premium gas, brother. Yeah, but you go to the <laughs> white man to get your gas. <laughs> that was a roundabout way I went to the A-Rad. Saying you waste money. I went to the A-Rad. Those are... I'm going to pause the camera and say what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> if, I w- if we weren't on camera, I would have said those are worse. But, you know, it, 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 I'm not, since we're on camera, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Because we're not, oh, yeah. If um, you're rejoining us, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say This is what we're going through right now, you know. I'm kind of... <laughs> Brothers, you know. Well, now that we're off gay marriage, what is the worst? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, I want to talk about World War Three. <laughs> I was gonna get on a more oh, lighthearted topic. World War Three? No. Yeah, he worst was. memeing Christmas World War presents, maybe. Uh, this year, like or ever? in life, yeah. ever. Right? Um, in life, no. just ever. Worst Christmas. Oh, I got a. Uh, nothing. Hungry? Nothing. <laughs> I got a uh, Burger King toy before. Oh, for Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, for Did me. they wrap it? No, they put it in the bag. Like the uh, little gift bags. Damn. Damn, they went out of their way to get a gift bag. They probably went to the drive through right before they got the Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it didn't even come with the food. <laughs> I didn't get a toy. I didn't get a toy. <laughs> How much is the toy? I got to buy it. I, I got I to gotta know. Was it an adult that they made me buy the meal? So they, so so they talking about they broke ass, probably ate, probably bought the meal because they're like, well, shit, it's a burger. Hey, well, I mean, a burger's a burger. They made me buy the meal. Yeah. Yeah. I got to eat this. I got to eat this. I'm hungry, so I might as well get a happy meal. You grab that hoe, it's cheap. Grab I mean, there's a larger story behind that, but it's a long one, so. Nah, it's a big deal. Get to the bottom of this. But, honestly. Surface level, that's. I don't know if I ever got a fucked up That's definitely the worst Christmas. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm not even. I've got nothing. I'm about to say, I've yeah. got nothing, I've got money. Y'all be tripping about it again. Actually, yeah. getting that toy was worse yeah, yeah, than nothing. getting that's nothing. That's what I'm saying. I don't yeah, think I've got no fucked up. I didn't look like really, like. I oh, I mean, I, I can say what the wor- my worst is, and this is this is, is gonna make me sound like spoiled, but uh, you are. I asked, yeah, I asked for a Power it. Ranger and my uh, my Beetleboard, my dad's Beetleboard is alive. Damn, I don't remember who gave it to me, but I, I fuck with Beetleboards. I asked for a Power Ranger, and they, these motherfuckers gave me Zed. <laughs> <laughs> The bad guy. The bad guy. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. That's crazy. His body looked like a brain. That's what that is. His body literally looked like, yeah, he you know how they see the, yeah, uh, this the kid anatomy like the pictures? Yeah. 
he gonna like the bad guy. Give him the bad guy. It's they like, had no idea he was a bad guy. For me, growing up, it's like I always what continuously got terrible. And not that I said, I'm not gonna say terrible, because like you, I was, it's gonna sound spoiled, but mm -hmm. it's like my dad is one of those, he's very frugal. Mm -hmm. He doesn't believe in name brands. So like when he goes to so Kroger, he's a black dad. So when he goes to Kroger, <laughs> a black father. when he goes to Kroger, he's not buying Fruit Loops. He's, he's not buying Frosted Flakes. He's buying uh, hey, off brand cereal. Be hitting. That's what I'm saying. But also meal ain't bad, bro. Uh, yeah. Buying them fruity old. That's what I grew up on. And uh, I, I grew Frost up. Flakes is uh. Hey, now, I'll be calling them Frosted Flakes, but that's I didn't. Not I, that's uh, I, I didn't grow up eating Pop Tarts. They, I ate pastries. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't grow up eating uh, like <laughs> pastries. <laughs> yeah, that's what bothered me too. Like I all yeah, yeah. So that's how my dad was. So my dad he knew I like honey oats. So my dad knew I like you know shoes and clothes and shit, but my dad was just, you know, I like Brent name brand. You didn't get nothing with the jump man that were not mm -hmm. jump man. My dad, was buying, man. my dad was buying me starter. Yeah, I, guess, I guess they are. Hey, oh, yeah, they frosted I got some at home. Yeah. That's why I didn't this know what the real call I got some generic frosted They're not great. They are. <laughs> they are. They are. They are. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> He's always decent. Yeah. You know, they, they're great. You yeah. know, they, you got to stretch the grade out. They're great. They're yeah. good. They're <laughs> good. He's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, my dad. Like, I remember one time he got me some uh, some starberries. Ooh. He got me the black and the That's white. Classic, right? Ooh. First of all, all right, all right. Sidebar so on that. That's a Chinese who, who was actually wrong with these things? Nothing Marbury trying to do good for the people. Children, the people. Hey, shit, black children. children. Just ugly, the black people. Black children. The only reason why I didn't want to wear Shack those black children. Black children. I had some Shakarachi that I played yeah. basketball. In. I had some fake Shak. The only reason I didn't want to wear that. Can't confirm. Can't confirm. Played them when I was about seventh, eighth grade. Can't confirm. The only reason I didn't want to wear them like that, like and one and all that shit starter. Yeah. It's cause like my cousins and my like older cousins and stuff, they all wore like Jordans and Nikes and stuff, and they they made fun of me. Yeah, that's that just is what it is. Like I didn't want to be made fun of. Wow. Now, maybe that's and, why I didn't have a problem with wearing. I have I mean, a family to make fun of me, so well, I didn't give a fuck. But here's the issue: my first like, cousin used to be like, and, you know, "Why uh, are you wearing that?" Yeah. 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 This is the issue. It's not like it's like the designs were the same, but it's like that's not your design. Mm -hmm. So it's like that's the issue with Shaq's. But the issue with the Marbury's is which is just ugly. Yeah, they were ugly. I mean, but it's clothes. I don't remember. They I, probably I, were fine. Star the clothes were probably fine. It's just had the logo he, probably. He came out with the like thirteen dollars shoe or some shit. Yeah, yeah like, he was trying to yeah. trying to do good to do for the good. for the community. Yeah. Yeah, and we and shit. We on shit. Shit. Like, also, I ain't even coming out bar. So he shouldn't have bought them. For the drop and hoes for four hundred, some niggas. Yeah. Uh, what's happening? You know what's fucked up is like his shoes weren't like terrible quality, so he probably would have had a better chance of getting off of being like, yeah, my shoes gonna be four hundred dollars, and people would have been fine with it. it Unlike fine. the fucking ball shit. I was gonna that say that's right. Way better than the ball shoes. Yeah, they yeah. probably was. Way, they probably was Jordan quality. For thirteen dollars, uh -huh. nah, they weren't Jordan quality. They were, but they were. I don't remember. I mean, they were at least Converse quality. Well, you had Starburst? I think so. I think I had a pair, and they fell apart. I don't think they fell apart. I think I might not have worn because they. He was too ashamed. Not ashamed. <laughs> Like I don't say, I, cause I would have hooped them, just like hoop, like go yeah, outside yeah. hoop them. I would. I, I would have. I think they was like. I think they were like bad quality. <laughs> but I think they was like real light, like mm -hmm. kind of thin feeling. Cause mm -hmm. like the shack, like shacks were actually like good quality. The moles did not fall apart. Like they I hooped not. them moles. Came from. I also like, had shacks. Yeah, like the moles did not fall apart. But like the starberry, they felt kind of, it felt off. So that's See, like, I remember, yeah. like I remember not wearing the most ever. When I got to seventh shit, grade, so. I had, it was it was over for me. All that starter, all that fast form, that feeling <laughs> shit. That shit was wait, 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 wait. Feel, feel, feel feel was hot, hot in seventh grade. Yeah, that was hot done. He wow. had, uh, wow. what's that brand wow. now? Wow. People pay way too much money My for champion. that. Champion? You had Champion before it was hot. Almost guaranteed. No, we had. He was buying stuff like that. No, we had Champion that when it was hot, then it fell off, and now we got Champion again, and it's hot again. Cause I'm definitely had a champion yeah. jacket. I, I, uh, but and I, I know that all of us had champion jackets. Yeah. And so when we was like in college and shit, what champion got hot again? It came back. The crew necks came back. Now yeah. champion like the shorts. Oh, yeah. See, oh, champion. Champion. Yeah. See that's why I like. Cause people was like champion back. I was like, bro, champion been back for ten years, but the crew necks. The crew like, necks like, was popping, and then now, now like all like the girls shit, like like shoes still trash. Yeah, when I got the seventh grade, I had to start rocking Jays and Nikes because I couldn't do it. 
anxiety. Shoes. I had like Converse, like Converse for regular school. And it's it's like, they like black and basketball. They kind of like sleep. They not like this. But nobody, nobody like uh, uh, everybody be like, oh, uh, people got made fun of for wearing shacks. I don't remember everybody being made fun of for But it's like this. Not the black ones. They have like a different colorway, and them hoes are like kind of dope. Nobody, did you, anybody ever make fun of you for wearing shacks? No. Yeah, I don't remember that ever happening. But it I've might seen be, people be made fun of for wearing shacks. It might be because I've like, seen people. Probably it's because we play yeah. sports. Now, they were too busy making fun of you for being fat. It's these, but it's a different, hold on, let me show you. Me that might have been the case for people. <laughs> they weren't making fun of your shoes, they were making fun of your weight. I was not fat. <laughs> In He's the just a little chubby. In eighth grade, Chris. <laughs> just a little yeah. chubby. I, I couldn't plump. do it, man. I was fatter than Mike. Yes. I don't remember that. I was not fat. I honestly don't remember it. But, uh, I mean, what did it, what shoes did you have on when you got dunked on? I promise you, there's some, somewhere uh, that's going, this is going somewhere. That was my sophomore year. Hope it we were wearing else. new, no, we were wearing new bounces. That was our team. Oh, oh, that's why you got dunked that's on. That's why you right there. See, I was going to say, no I'll oh, see if you know, like I had some Jordans on. I'll be like, well, see, no matter what you got on, you're going to get dunked on with Carlos. No, 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 he got nothing on because he I may have been wearing my Jordans, though, because I remember for like, they had to order my shoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I may have been wearing my Jordans for that game. Well, I, I when the football team got under armor, y'all didn't get nothing? What? He played for spring. Oh. Yeah, that explains it. Never mind. Yeah, me. I play at Spring Hill. Yeah. Uh, the football team and the basketball team got and one. Mm hmm. you right. I remember. Yeah, y'all yeah. sponsored by him. Yeah. We, my sophomore year, we were sponsored by New Balance. And then my. Because he was at Spring I honestly yeah, did not know that New Balance has basketball shoes. Yeah. They got, they got sports like yeah. running shoes, basketball shoes. I know shoes. running they shoes. Got, uh, soccer cleats. They, I they do. They try. I didn't know they had. But my basketball my shoes. Year we got we that got far back. Into Adidas. Okay. And then my son. They didn't care about y'all's knees, but it's our, cool. Then my senior year we got Nikes. How did y'all keep losing? That was that, uh, endorsements. Like, what the fuck? Well, that's, that's, they kept we upgrading. Moved, yeah. We moved up. Uh, yeah, my kept upgrading. Yeah, my yeah, sophomore year we won four games. Damn. My junior year we won twenty five. It's these and then my senior year, year we won twenty two. Those are the ones I was talking about. I admit this is kind of hard. So, I can't so, remember the code. So we got both. Like, like, the year after I left, they went. The year after I left, they went to the final four state Damn. championship. So what was Ooh, the year that you got dunked on? Mm -hmm. really? That was like 05. I was fourteen. No, your what year was that? Your freshman sophomore junior sophomore year. Sophomore, okay. Uh, and you said you won four games that year. Yeah, we won four games. So then the next year you won twenty five. And the next year you won twenty two. Which is still good. Came back. You, yeah, I mean, over 20 back games. Yeah, anything over 20. Yeah. So, yeah. in the fourth largest city in America, in the toughest conference. You know, I want to say, in a yeah. real tough area in the hoop. District. With, with what we were in. Well, spring. We was tough. Spring. I mean, white boys. We, we, yeah. 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 How many we went to the playoffs two years in a row, and then, like I said, the year after I graduated, they went all the way to the final four. So, my coach did something nice. Whatever yeah, he, he did something doing, right. He was doing it. He, he, he got better. I and mean, definitely, he tell the, and definitely the last school you would expect in the district to be good. Exactly. You did tell us the Jimmy Butler story where your coach actually scouted Jimmy Butler. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was my sophomore year when we won four games. Four games. We was trash. Now he got uh, dunked on by Jimmy Butler. I never got First, like that. <laughs> First Why of you all. Why you couldn't get him, bro? Why y'all uh, Jimmy because... Butler never dunked on me. Bro, he got he buckets. I'm yeah, saying, why y'all Spring wasn't going to break off that money like the place he did go. He had to do his house. Tom. His coach had to do his house. Move into his house. I was going to do that Google search. Isn't that what the coach did for Tom Ball? No, all them coaches. Jimmy Butler got kicked out of the house with his mom and like they moved him into the house. That's the story, but I don't remember that being a story. I, I don't remember, remember him giving you money. I remember him and Nick like, Wise and all them niggas getting him. moved by the getting coaches. Getting moved out there, yes. That's the <laughs> that's story what I used remember. To do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also remember. What they tell people is that, oh, yeah, he came from a broken family. Yeah, uh-huh. That was that. I also remember that being the case at all. Jimmy, his mother. Jimmy Buckets Butler gives Cyril K. Lewis 35 14 and 16. And I remember that headline. 35? <laughs> I didn't think it was that guy. He wasn't that good. He wasn't that good. No one's going to say nothing about the 16. He was decent. No one's going to say nothing about the 16. Y'all going to say something about the 30. The 35 isn't no freakish thing. Someone, uh, someone in high school gets uh, 16 uh, rebounds? At, at the, at the well, you said he was playing two at the time. That's hustle. That's a hustle. That's a hustle player. How you get yeah. 16 rebounds at the two? Right if his that's team shot a lot of threes, that's a hustle ball right there. That's, that's, I believe Because I got 12 rebounds. Now, 35 ain't that crazy, then. No, but see, no. But I remember this because he should be tired. I will tell you this. I remember my coach used to you know, tell me. You can't get them shots? Well, I guess it would be 12 rebounds, 16 assists. Look, my coach used to tell me, though, if I can get 10 rebounds a game, then I'll be decent. But you ran the two. Hey, you heard Kawhi? Board man. 
make it pay. Getting ten rebounds is is tough. I'm not gonna say it's hard, but it's tough. It's difficult. No, it's, it's not. not it's not easy. You what Russell Westbrook is doing. You gotta, you gotta, like, you gotta, you gotta exhilarate a lot of energy. That's why I said how you get thirty five. On oh, 16 rebounds. rebounds. Because he was getting held by this nigga. That's, he was no, eating. it's possible, though. I'm saying, bro. I mean, but tired. Like, like, then you got to think about the same time. Like, sometimes, like, when you feeling it, like, another time, like, when you in your bag, dude, like, when you hooping, yeah, and, true. like, you just, like, feeling it, and, like, you just feel like you in the gym by yourself, it's but you playing ass. against people, yeah. like. And you got a little fire you just, you next to you. You just game. feel like you better than everybody. <laughs> you in your bag. You yeah. just, nobody fucking with you. Like, it's possible to do like, anything. You know, I never you, felt like that on offense, but I definitely have felt like that on the defensive side. Uh, on defense, like, five oh. blocks Hooper, back, back Hoopers know when that ball feels like it's on the string, and it's like, you just, like, your tap, like, I call it the Kyrie Irving effect. But this is before Kyrie Irving, so I guess Kobe, but like now Kyrie Irving. But when you just feel like you can just dribble between anybody and like you just, I don't know, you just got. I've be, definitely seen people enter that, that zone. Yeah, it's that zone. You can see a little focus. thing at the top of the screen saying microwave. I can't exactly what that. That shit saying. crazy. That shit fun. It. But it's so Pass. But that's it's so tough. <laughs> I've seen people think they're in that zone. They may not be. But it's tough to get in that. It's tough. It's <laughs> tough to get to that zone. It's tough to stay in that zone all the time. <laughs> It's so, tough to, like that's why people respect Jordan so much because like Jordan stayed in that lived zone. in that zone. He lived in that. Like Kobe, he was in there for a minute. Like he did it. LeBron, he he, he can't Hard. do it. That's just not the type of person. LeBron, ain't I don't know. James Harden never gets in there. He just be like, I'm, I'm in there. James Harden, just James, you just shot forty seven times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in the zone. I'm in that zone. Even in that zone. Even in that zone. Even in that zone. Speaking of the team, 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 you got to be super hyped. Your team way overperforming right now. Ain't no overperformance. See, that's the thing. The right thing? Oh, you expected that? No, nah, he's I a Heat fan. The Heat fan. I'm dead serious. I expected that. What the hell did he know? They got what? We're number number three in the league. I thought they were gonna be. You know what I, 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 I knew? I knew for, we were. Not that I can talk. Playoffs. My team sitting there eighth in the West. Yeah, we, we made, made, we made the playoffs last year. Not bad though. It's the West. No, yeah, it's not a good year. No, we almost <laughs> made. Probably not going to be a good year. few years because I don't see any good way out. Yeah. Yeah. We almost made the playoffs last year. I knew Ben was. We went like a three game stretch without a tip. Knew he was getting shit. Knew that today. Tyler Hero is a fucking beast. I fuck with Hero. And I knew it when we drafted him. I fuck with so that's why I knew boys, we man. was going to be nice. And uh, Duncan Robinson is a fucking three-point guy. And it, I seen him last year. And Kendrick Nunn played so for the... you think y'all going to come out the East? Kendrick Nunn played for the Warriors last year. Y'all not going to be the Bucks? Y'all ain't going to be the Bucks? Y'all not going to be Philly? Do you know what y'all's win total over under was? Uh, uh, y'all not even going to be Embiid won't be, play the playoffs. Ben Simmons he still, don't do nothing. How, how long has Embiid been in the league? Why does he still look out of shape? Five years. How does he still look out of shape? Because they don't put him on a diet. Because yeah, he's injured. Probably don't, yeah, that too. Every year. He probably has one of those it. bodies. He's just real good. He don't get me wrong. He's real good. But he's a very injured person. Like, he just don't get gassed halfway yeah. to the third. They he probably don't make him. Uh, like uh, yeah, I'm saying they probably don't make him like, yeah. oh, we don't want him to get hurt. So you can you can take the day off. Well, yeah. Do some Kendrick water cardio. Was second I'm in the ACL. ACL and ACL and scoring, bro. Behind the <laughs> You tell your ACL. And <laughs> boy, you do <laughs> frail. Blow his Achilles out. Just swim crazy. The year that, like, the year that he, uh, Trey, well, Trey Young got drafted and he came yeah. out. He was second in scoring. Man, I never believed in Trey Young, but he been doing his thing. But he's still not gonna. Can we all agree that Atlanta got Bam? He has been coming out east. Which way? Yeah, yeah. Which Trey? Luca for Trey? Oh, oh, oh yeah. you wild. We gonna see. I'm wild. Yeah, thank you, Chris. I like. You're gonna I like. You gonna see. We gonna like, see. I like. Trey is fucking hooping. Yeah, Luca, Trey hooping too. Though. Luca has a coach. First off, first and foremost, he has all got coaches. They all got coaches. He has a good so coach. He has <laughs> Rick Carlisle, and who does Trey have? Who's coaching the Hawks? Exactly. I just exactly. I just told him uh, earlier that you, Atlanta's where you go to die. Bro, like Atlanta, Atlanta has seven top ten picks on their team right now, and they're last in the league. They That's and Trey Young's on their roster. That's coaching, and Trey Young's the only one scoring because the coach don't What's know how point? to how make them distribute the oh, ball. So you, you defend Devin Booker. You said what? You defend Devin Booker then too, huh? Devin Booker does not do what Trey Young do. Devin Booker can't even dribble. He can shoot though. He, he scores some points. He's not leading the team in scoring right now. Kelly Oubre is, so I don't think Devin Booker is shit. Mm. I think Trey drops. I think he, can, he can score, <laughs> but I don't think he got heart. To, I don't know if he want to play for his Phoenix. I mean, he's a light skinned man. He's, he's, 
You can never figure that exactly. out. So I don't, I don't even know how to classify. I don't know. Well, they got bamboozled. It don't really matter. What are you talking about? Know, Luke, Lakers Luke, gonna win. Luke, 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 on Trey's team, we call it's out. already set in stone for us. It's so mapped you, out. Do you honestly think y'all are Davis Stern, like, but he already said. Luke, Luke, he already Luke, said Luke, 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 that's all we need a producer. This is low key. This is shit. <laughs> so comparing Trey Young and Luca at this point, I feel like it's when people were comparing Blake Griffin and Steph Curry in 2010. Horrible idea. And Actually, if it's apt. They won't get hurt a lot. Well, no, Blake Griffin was probably almost an all star already yeah. in 2010. And it's like they're doing different things. Like, like Luca was a forward, and his coach literally was like, "Yeah, we just go put you at point guard to up your assist." That's literally what happened. Like his position is literally okay, point guard. So right anybody now. would be able to do that. Not anybody, but if, if, you, what, what, if Doc, do you see what Blake is doing in Detroit? Not saying they winning. No, nobody wants to Because they don't. Have, game. I know Blake is yeah. playing the point guard at a lot, a lot. They could have did that with Blake in 2010. Even though he enhanced his game, but if he would have did that, he would have still been like on a Atlanta good, on a good team, just like Steph was on a bad team. And we got video evidence of me telling you this. They got so we'll be able to go, what, what how wrong you were about Trey and Luca because Trey goes to a different team. All right, this is what if I, he goes to a I different say. team, I don't, it's I, a problem. I'm not even gonna compare both of them. I'm gonna say this: Luca is gonna have a uh, is, Luca is better than Trey. Period. Trey is, Trey is decent. Trey, Trey is all right. Wow. But um, yeah, Trey is gonna have to. He's gonna have to have more. He's gonna have to have more skills. Have a better skill set than what he has. I know that. And he has to. And he has to find out the fact that dudes of his size don't really hold up He's gonna have to find out how he's gonna get his buckets. Cause when, Bro, he averaged like twenty seven points right now. I know, now. and that's cool. What do you mean how you gonna get his the regular buckets? season? That's like that's not saying that it's like a church league or anything, but it's not the playoffs. People ain't racking up. They're not defense. making it to the playoffs. They're not, they're not going to the playoffs. Exactly. Okay, he's so. Not average that and Luka he, hasn't been Trey Young will not average that in the playoffs. I think. Oh, you, wow. I don't think his game will transcend. I don't think I think, so think he, I think he tightens up when he shoots some threes. I don't think he, he shoots the highest percentage like that. What, he's tightened up what, else, what have you seen from him to where, because when he played in the. in the uh, Final four? Yeah. Not, he wasn't in the final four. He was in the tournament. Yeah. He didn't tighten up. So what have you seen from him that makes you think he's going to tighten because up? Because everybody playoffs? does. No, you don't. Until you prove otherwise. Everybody don't tell you that. Also, you know. why are we comparing Most. the tournament to the NBA playoffs? Uh-huh. Well, I'm just, no, I'm just, in this is terms, a, that's the only time he ever been in a seven game. This is a seven game That's series. the only time he ever been in a tournament. You only got to be good one day in that tournament, or one day and one moment. In the, in the playoffs, so why are we talking about Lucas? Triple well, double. That's not a triple double. Well, yet. to your point. But Lucas' game is actually, like, Lucas' game is like, I'm not saying it's not flawed. Yeah, all around. Can we go back to the one, all around, one game like, thing? Isn't that more stressful having to win one game than having to win four no, out of seven? it's way harder to do. I didn't mean, say back harder. Back I said stressful. Games. I said stressful. What's I, don't more stressful? I don't know He's under stress. more stress I, to win one gotta, game. Because if you have a bad game. If you lose this game, game, you're done. You're done. Versus, I can lose this game, come back next week. Yeah, but I, but what I'm saying that's is that's not a you winning that you winning one game isn't a test of who's better. Winning a best of seven. Is more of a test of who's better. But that's but to your point, you said so he's, he's gonna, gonna freeze up, up in in the playoffs. Yeah. I, 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 mean, I think saying, yeah, like in the seven game series, he'll get exposed. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, not, not, goes, not, 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 not saying he'll, he'll be loose as a motherfucker. He ain't gonna freeze up. He's just gonna get exposed. Exposed of what? This is my thing because defense. Y'all, y'all look. He don't, he don't nobody like plays defense. defense. No, no point guard. The defense, defense is gonna expose his offensive game. You uh, lie, Michael Conley. His lack of hit the defense is gonna expose his lack of yeah, offensive yeah. game. You need to stop. And stop saying nobody. It's also because he's saying everybody plays defense in the NBA. What like are you cool. talking about? The like defense cool. is. Everybody, well, everybody, everybody, plays plays Beverly. Beverly. everybody that plays he offense, they drop once they get the ball back, they, they have to run back on defense. Do you guys not know Who that? plays good yeah. defense? It's not a different team who for plays, Who plays yeah. good defense? I'm wearing a rescue shirt right now. <laughs> play they defense? play defense, yeah. but they gave up like no, 35 there's, points a game. different people that play defense and there's different people that play offense. But the point there, when we're saying is just because you're on defense doesn't defense. mean you're playing good defense. Just okay. because you're doing it good defense. doesn't mean it's working. The league doesn't allow you to play good defense no more so. Well, yeah. I mean, that that's, you know, that's. But you saw what the defense that. exposed in trade. I, but I, I, I think there's, I mean, I think. The, the reason I'll say I don't think you'll get exposed because. It's a lot of people like y'all who don't think he really nothing. They just think he can shoot. I didn't so, no, to your fucking team. point. Maybe our offense should have been playing some defense because that was the only niggas that was doing shit all season. 
Shit. Wait. We're talking about the rescues? You don't think AP can lay a nigga out in linebacker? Oh, uh, we've seen him lay people out. When he what, what, is y'all, what is the record in that being? Uh, three in, in, in top 13, ten pick. We don't have to talk about it. I think it was right. four. Yeah, it's four and twelve or three. I, right. at, at some point, like after the first three games, I was like, oh, they're tanking. No, they're uh, not. Huh? No, they weren't. Michael. No, they're definitely tanking. Mm-hmm. Who's your favorite team? Football or Chiefs? Uh, I don't have a, a, a uh, horse in that race. <laughs> you just hope you don't get, your team don't get fucking bounced by the same job. Oh, it's, it's gonna happen. No, First of I'm, all, I'm pulling for y'all. They already cheated. For this week only. They've already cheated last week. Who just won? It's not happening. Who just won? The Titans? That's crazy. Who just won? The Cowboys, unfortunately. Oh, damn. But, but, I mean, on Monday, you're probably gonna get a national championship. I know. That's so, the more important. What do you mean? On January 13th. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, Jerry Burrow, he wanted to go to Nebraska, but. He's I guess, man. Oh. I guess we didn't want him. Scott Frost said, "Man, it's rough oh, being a God. Nebraska fan right now. <laughs> See, I've been trash for like 25 years. Twenty five. No, we, we thought oh, that is so Wisconsin not that true. We, like, oh, we ran the '90s. What are you talking about? That was 25 years ago, bro. That was not 25 years ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when they when they didn't run the late '90s. When they were good, it was like it was like 20, 20, I about, oh, I bro. I about nailed your program. Oh, oh, I think we got ninety eight. I think it was good ninety eight. I think we had a really good. 2000 year, I think it was decent. The SEC is running. So, you know, 2000 was Miami, Since right? From like 2006. So I'm saying we had some good things against Miami. It was a lot of Nebraska. Miami. We had some good things against Miami. <laughs> that was eight. We had some good times. We had some good times. Yeah, good, good back and forth. There was a lot of force. <laughs> but there was the Rose Bowl moments. <laughs> How do you like Nebraska? This is where people oh, sit on. Oh, that's unfortunate. Mm-hmm. Damn. They're one of the schools that I, I dislike off, off of general. Just, just like you don't like the black shirts. I don't like Nebraska. I don't like Notre Dame. I don't like Oof. Michigan. Uh, I don't like Notre Dame. I don't like Notre Dame. But I do like their helmets. When most of your I glory like, comes like from like before black people could play with you, I don't respect. That shit comes from like the forties. Whoa, talking about Notre Dame. Whoa, 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 what was that? What did you say? Celtics. Before black people could do what? Celtics. Could play. Could play what? Boston. Before Celtics. in the sport, Boston Celtics. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one nigga on the team. They've had one championship <laughs> since the Miami. <laughs> wait, what? Before, can't wait, wait. Can't, this guy. Make your point. I'm gonna talk about the Celtics. Uh, I want to talk about the Celtics. I always do this. I'm shit confused. To my own. Did y'all say that we couldn't play Same. sports? We couldn't no, play all them. those teams with them. Like, oh, because, because it wasn't integrated. Yeah. Yeah, but we know. had our own sports, right? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. But they weren't playing against us for their the championships. Shit that, yeah, the shit that they count. Yeah, Notre Dame won, like, shit. eight national championships, and they were all before, yeah. like... The niggas mm-hmm. that play against them. Yeah. Um, so that but let's talk about the fucking Celtics. Let's talk about Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce... Kevin Durant and Paul Pierce, mm-hmm. because Ray Allen and Rondo ain't, ain't the problem. Because Ray Allen got a championship Ray Allen is South the Beach. Huh? Huh? Ray Allen got that South Beach championship. Fuck you. Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett have, been, have been riding this fucking championship as if though they had a dynasty. <laughs> For real, though. Like, bro, not only did y'all lose the oh, next year to Kobe. Uh, not only did y'all lose the next year to Kobe. Okay. No, it was two years. You can't be a dynasty with one championship. We don't have to talk about anything else. Bro. And not only that, they always everybody wanted to be like, oh my god, LeBron started the big three era. No, it was you three niggas. Y'all started the big three. The reason First LeBron all, no, There is no such thing as a big three era. All teams have been doing it. All for a teams while. have had three uh, good players. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. What the hell? But, <laughs> but, but, the, but, but they the started, modern they started trend with the them. definitely, hey, let's all team up on yeah. one team type thing. Hey. And hey. Paul Pierce hey. sure, Paul it. Pierce is a bomb. It needs to be said. Yeah, kind of like he got to take. Paul Pierce, like Paul Pierce is a shit. really insecure basketball player. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he definitely is. He's, 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 he's like, he's like, he's like actually he's, too good to be that insecure. Exactly. But like, he's, he's, like, he's a decent he's player. player. He's they not a trash like player, but you're not as good as what you think you are. No, I don't even think he's. A, no, he's not as good as he wish he think he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, that, yeah. That, yeah. yeah. Like for him to think that he's in any conversation with D Wade, bro, you smoking crack. Exactly, you smoking crack and you smoking dick. I don't know. For him to say that was... I don't know. I still don't know. You can't. That was just. That was just, just indicative of his. Mind you, this is D Wade who has been hurt damn near every season. He thought he was still had a better same, career. Than him. Same breath as Kobe too when he thought he was gonna get like a. 
<laughs> like a farewell tour. And shit. Nobody's bro. in the same. Bro, bro. Maybe, maybe, maybe if he stayed with the Celtics, maybe. Boston, bro. Just be happy when you go to Boston. Like maybe, 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 maybe he would have stayed with the Celtics the whole time. They'd been like, ah, oh, he was a guy that stayed with us. Like Dirk got one, so it's like maybe. Yeah, but Dirk is actually like a, I, a higher tier of I player. Agree. But Paul Pierce, people, he probably would have got the sympathy of people like, oh, he stayed with the same team his whole career. Like he was, he was a face of the franchise all these years. I might have gave him a sympathy vote. He should be cool. The fact that he talks so fucking much. He compares himself to to. I'm gonna die saying. He kind of reminds me of. He kind of reminds me of Melo, but I cheated us the next year. He kind of reminds me of Melo, but Melo is actually sweat a hooper. Melo got cramps. But the only thing with Melo, that's his only injury, his only weakness. He got turned the heat up. Shut uh, the uh, fuck up. In June, in June San fucking water. Who? LeBron. Yeah, help with cramps. His only weakness was cramps. Took they, 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 they took took the heat off. I mean, the air conditioner off. Yeah, what are you going to say about... Uh, so you tell me, I like, I like he the fed you LeBron, I but not old-ass Timmy. Get the fuck out of here. He grew up in the Virgin Islands. Anyway, uh... uh <laughs> Why the fuck are you defending him? Because I, you know, uh, I fuck with LeBron. Cleveland. And I hate the Spurs. The Virgin Islands. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Cleveland, bro. No, make it up. I want to hear what you had to say about Carmelo and uh, Paul Pierce. Because oh, yeah, yeah. you were making a good point. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, so... Well, Camilla and Paul Pierce, it's, it's really... They're more so in the mindset. Oh, get me started. Okay. So, like... I feel like Carmelo, like he misses the game so much, but he don't really miss the game. He just misses like the hoes that be yeah, at the hotel. He missed the attention of. He misses getting on the plane. Wow. He misses that whole little thing. And like Paul Pierce is the same way. He wants to be looked at like he's one of those, you know, upper tier, you know, upper echelon type guys. And he's and a Kobe, tier and, and, and Melo wants to be the same thing. But at the end of the day, they just they both just hoopers, I think people, man. They just I think people regard buckets, Melo man. better than 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 they Paul do, Pierce. But regard, at the same time, Paul regard. Pierce. Carmelo Anthony is better than Paul Pierce. Yes. Yeah. Oh but no, I, that wasn't a question. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just saying how people view. I think, I think they want to be up there with like right the LeBrons and oh, you know how Michaels and shit. Oh, and I think, and I think when, once you start talking about the greats, <laughs> you don't talk. You don't. You're not bringing up. Paul Pierce and Carmelo. Well, you know what Paul Pierce bring up Carmelo before you do Paul Pierce. You know what Paul Pierce, what Paul Pierce benefited from? He went to college at one of, at probably the most storied college for basketball. Then went to the most storied team in uh, in basketball. And hit some good so shots. He, and he was a decent player. So it's just he like some decent shots. Hit some good. So it's just like you just your whole career was like you went to you played for Kansas. He had the spotlight on you. And then you went the to entire, Boston right. and. And we know how Boston media is about their teams. They take that shit super serious. Mm -hmm. And the Boston Boston media in general is a is it it is a it's a hype machine. In they, itself. They, like like and not even just sports. Like if they're saying this in Boston, it people will take it as fact. They got the guard. Like cause they got the Boston Globe. It's supposed to be like the guard. It's a respected whatever. It's like all I know is they got like the history. History. All I know is they ain't won yeah. shit in that thirty years. Huh? For one they won one championship, like and, they, and they act like they like won. Count it. So, so, so. Does like anybody, I said, I mean, like, like, like I said, count, like I said, both they, our teams do have more championships than them. Like I said, David but, Stern put a like thing said, in there and said the Lakers have to win every ten the heat, years. The Heat so win the win they win every ten years. No, they, no, they don't. So I want to. We don't win every ten years. Also, they win this year. Damn near. Okay, I was about to say they win in this year. So yes. I want to know about the Celtics. Might, no, I was about to say that's got to be what you're talking about. I want to know. 10. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're going to have year. to win this year. Wait, we might win this Kevin year. We are going to win this year. Kevin Garnett. Might. Can we stay on top? Kevin Garnett said that they broke the uh, injury broke the game. um he broke they broke LeBron. Mm -hmm. Anybody feel like that's true? He's promoting the movie. Yeah, yeah we yeah. know that. But does anybody feel like that's true? Yeah, they broke him. Oh, wait, wait. Miami. what movie was he promoting when he said that? Sent a yeah. cry to Miami. <laughs> why, why Why was that tied into promoting the movie? Cleveland broke LeBron. The only reason he's talking is because there's a movie with him coming out. Okay. Got why the hell is he out. even talking? Solid film. Why is he was he talking? in it long enough for us to... Oh, yeah, he's a big character. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be odd seeing the 6'11 dude just... Yeah, he did a job. He did. like you know, how, like when you see movies, people like that are playing themselves and they're awkward. Like, he no actually problem. did. A, he did Yo, a is he job. playing KG? Yeah, he's playing KG. Oh, that's why. Because it, it, it happens. Be um, I mean, it happens. Remember the uh, the year they went to the um, they went to the uh, to the uh, <laughs> oh, so this happened Eastern Conference uh, final, not too. the Eastern Conference, the game they, when they played the uh, seventy seven. Uh, I was confused as to why he said, "Don't you got a game to be at?" Because I was like, "Yeah, you've been retired for." Yeah, no, it happens in twenty twelve or twenty thirteen. I don't remember. But it happens at that point in time. But uh, good film. It's a good movie. But 
I want to know how to how does how do you get credit for breaking LeBron when it was five niggas on one? How do you get credit for that? It was already. Or maybe well, if you don't say there. five, it was four like on say, one. Cleveland broke LeBron. Yeah, yeah, it was like, already broken before he got there. I don't right? think he played them every year. That's what, I could see if he played them every year after they were formed. I could see if they actually won more than one championship. But that's all, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't even think LeBron had to go through Boston like those three yeah, years, last three years in Cleveland. Uh, I know he lost the last year. Is that what he had to deal with Dwight and the Magic around then, right? Yeah, one, yeah. One year he lost to Dwight in I think the conference finals, maybe. If anything. The Spurs broke LeBron because they did played you. them in the finals and he was like, fuck it, I'm leaving this bitch. What else three years later? Nobody huh? okay, likes to talk about that. What? LeBron left three years after that. After the sweep, yeah. I could have what yeah, what happened the year before he left? He lost I mean, the ball. He got, yeah, he, he just lost got, the ball. He got tired of losing. That's when he took the jersey off. Yeah. When he lost the ball in the Eastern, uh, Eastern semifinals. No. I, thought was, I thought it was a finals against the Spurs. No, we, Spurs, definitely, Spurs Spurs we definitely own his second yeah, worst exactly. finals That's appearance. That's why I said they like to shape a narrative. His but. most embarrassing was against the Mavericks, though. Like, they had like, no reason yeah, 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 it's true. Exactly. At but, least against the Spurs, it was understandable. Yeah, that was really, one that man was the breakdown three. right there was the Spurs. Yeah. I mean, it was uh, the Mavericks. Mavericks one. You shouldn't have lost that. You shit. shouldn't have lost they, that they, shit. Because I don't remember. I think that, that was the same. That's why. That was the same year though. That was the same year they swept. They swept the Lakers. They swept the Lakers. They swept. Oh no! Uh, and I, I watched every game in that series that year. They beat the big three OKC. They they fucked us up. up. Yeah, they, they fucked up everybody. They, they swept Portland three, that year, I think, after too. Three, I think yeah. they had no business losing. The I think they hit twenty three threes. Yeah, because we was up two one, and we was beating their ass in every game except for the last one we played. And DJ Khaled had a nerve start. And LeBron James had a Spurs at DJ Khaled. They scored ten points. A triple double. Now I remember me and Kobe. We talked about we were we were like damn. LeBron James. You and Kobe did what? We Ten. chopped it up about Ten. that after the game. We were like, what we You and do? Kobe did what now? Not that. We chopped Kobe. it up about the game. You talk Kobe Bryant? Yeah, we chopped it up about the game to make sure we were like, what are we gonna do after this year? Cause he was really talking about crazy stuff like leaving. I was like, whoa, we ain't doing he that. Should've. Nah. He should have. No. He should have. Probably shouldn't have probably 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 another pop- A year later. No. Probably would have helped him and the Lakers. I told him, you know what? We told him, I told him, 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 him I'm gonna go out with a bang. Oh yeah. Went out with a bang. Everybody in the crowd heard that Achilles just and, fucking uh, D'Antoni. That's what's gonna happen to James Harden. No, James Harden. I told Harden. him I was like, we no. were trying to three peat either. Because you know we were going for. Three, is we were shit. going for a three peat at the time. Remember? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, y'all were good. Y'all do remember that? Right? I remember right. the day I had the, the right, two. Right. Yeah. We, yeah. Was waiting. we was waiting. No, excuse me. Wade was waiting. Yeah. For well, Kobe. You see what happened to them. Wade was waiting for Kobe. Yeah. You see what happens. And he never showed up. The Mavs were pretty good that year. But the next. What about the next year? Well, the Spurs are really good. That's what I'm saying. We were, we were going <laughs> for it. We were going for it. Really the Spurs were really good. Once we, once we lost our three big chances, it was kind of like a conference champion. Once we lost our three big chances, it was like. Y'all, 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 y'all had to knock out James Harden in the conference championship. No, no, no. James Harden knocked himself out. Bro, that's crazy. No, run our test. You're talking about. Yeah, they was like one game from playing us in the finals. That's why. I fucking hate that the Thunder made it that year because I wanted to see Kobe versus Wade and Bron. Did they go back to back years? Who? The, the Thunder. Thunder. No, they that was that that they, they smoked us in the conference finals because James Harden oh, yeah. fucking ape shit on us with good defense and y'all played no defense and he fucking ghosted. That might not have been the conference finals. And we no, made, that wasn't the conference finals. It was before the conference finals. Is that a lot? It was the semifinals they played the Spurs that year. They, Is that all you made? They might have played. No, they only went to the finals once. Exactly. So that was the year that they played us in the West Conference Finals. No, they played yes. Ron Artez. Ron Artez knocked the, the, the mind out of James Harden. It might have been the... the, the, the <laughs> so look it up. We got phones. Go Metal World Peace will fuck anybody up. Fuck, anyway, fuck we have... Oh, we up. talked about basketball long enough. Is that for me? New Year's is here. New Year's resolution. For just Mike. What? Well, what are your oh New Year's resolutions? Oh, oh, okay. Well, we're about to eat nachos. Because Mike's so about to eat nachos. Any resolution. Yeah, that's, 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 uh, that's, that's, that's the podcast. It's over. Uh, it's good over. night. It's, 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 it's over. It's over. I'm restless. You're restless? <laughs>